The universe operates in a certain way when all of your understanding, physical understanding of the universe, is grounded within the human experience. The whole all science, of this logic, all of this the idea whole about science, ends, the ends whole science, stuff. my friend Alexis, yes, yes. if you didn't know, is based on this. You observe something specific. Scientific method you were also asking me about. Of course. Okay, then what? Do you believe in the scientific method? Yes, of course. Right. So, so have you observed this kind of jumping about in every point within this earth and this universe? What? So, okay, I'm saying on earth right now. You have you about? observed on every point of the earth? I make an assumption based on a, a, a lot of experience and a lot of understanding of how... Hang on, have you, have you observed on every single yes. point of the earth? I mean, I've, I've observed. On every enough. single point of the earth? Okay, so you're telling me there's part of earth where I jump up and I Go, go up. Yeah. No, I'm asking go you, down. have you I made that observation? You haven't. Yes, okay. So now, if somebody says, it doesn't matter wherever you go on the earth, if you jump, you're going to come down again. Is that reasonable? It's not reasonable. What does science say? Science. Science says. Science say? Yes. What, what you're, you're misconstruing what science I'm not misconstruing you're science. Misconstruing I'm educating you on science oh, and scientific yeah. methodology. Yeah, no, you're not actually. You're misconstruing it because. Science is based on logical assumptions made from evidence. Evidence is that gravity is a force that pulls us down. What are the foundations of the scientific method again? Observation. Observation? Uh, collecting some samples, like sampling. And then making conclusions based on said making conclusions based on said experiment. Is the very experiment. first fundamental out of all of this is the world is rational or irrational? The world. To science to operate, do you assume... What's wait, wait a second, you talked about some of the philosophers, now let's see whether they can help you. <laughs> if science did not assume axiomatically that the world is rational, would you be able to understand the world? No. So science assumes the world is rational? Yes. Science has made so many mistakes anyway. Yes, yes? yes but doesn't matter. So, so, so you accept scientific you see, you methodology you're is things. rooted in this very foundation that the world is rational yeah. and we as rational human beings are able to understand it rationally. Yeah. So don't then yes, yes, say right you are a human being using human logic to understand the world because you're being unscientific. No, okay, okay. But my point was, my, uh, you completely like, my point was, was that, you know, logic, logic, where we, where we derive our understanding of logic is from experience. It's from experience like day to day. No. Like the different examples that you make. Not true. Okay, okay, okay. But not true. Fine, not right. true. I'll, let me tell you why it's okay, not true. Okay, well, let me finish. It's let not me finish for, for once. Let Go me ahead. Talk. Go ahead, Alexis. Let me and I'll tell you why. Okay. Where, like, like where we get, we, we understand logic to be a certain thing. We understand it to be whatever it is. We understand it. We, as collectively as humans, we come to certain, you know, certain unified definitions about what logic is. But how can we then assume that we use our logic? We are we use our logic needing for contingency, needing for explanations, needing for this. How can when then we can zoom out and then do it on our, our whole world? Because our world. I'm saying I we don't know how it we don't know how the universe operates. So there is no reason to misconstrue our understandings of logic and place that on on the universe. Because those two things was are it, not was it was it was it logical to say there's a cyclical universe or multiverse, or is it based on evidence? No, it's not. I mean it's What's it based on? It's based on assumptions. Assumption is based on what? Assumption is based on evidence. <laughs> what evidence do we have of a multiverse? No, I mean, the multiverse not specifically, no. I'm and what evidence do you have there was another universe before no, this universe? No, I do, scientifically. My grandfather. My Sorry? Gran my grandfather. He's what? A, a big does your grandfather have evidence there was another universe before this one? He does. I mean, I, I, he showed, like, he talked to me. This is his. My, 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 my theory is about the universe. My theory is about. I, I, Are you a physicist? I, I argue. Are you a physicist? No. Cosmologist? No. Do you have a PhD or undergraduate degree in any of those subjects no. and expertise? No. So it's all about your assumption, your theories, they don't count because you're not a specialist. Okay, do you your, have a your grandfather is. No, no. Your grandfather is. Yeah, he is. Has your grandfather published works? that I can read and assess and critically evaluate that there is an evidence for a, a universe before this universe? Yeah? I can try to type his name in. Well, well, oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let me write it down. Okay. Go ahead. No problem. This is where, yeah, yeah. Sorry, this guy. Uh, Did he win a Nobel Prize yet? Sadly, but he, he's, 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 he's doing great things. He's doing great things. I, I respect good, good. him a lot. No problem. Yes, I mean, yes. you must so, be a great man. I, mean, I, mean, I can look it up. I can look it up. So now, coming back to the question yeah. of logic, yeah. if logic 
wasn't used to understand our reality, yeah. then science would have been crumbled from the very well, start. Well, I get that. I understand. So what you're we wrong. can use logic. Yes. So when it comes to understanding the very beginning of the universe, yes. Yes. No, I... don't just stop and say we can't use logic. Right? Do I you agree, agree so far? Yeah. Good, I agree. Good. Right. I agree that logic does play a role. Now let's come back to my example of tea and coffee, right? Shall we? Would it ever make tea and coffee if I just sit there and wait for tea to happen? No. Why not? Because you need to put things into so, motion. So to make transformation of existing yes, things, yes, yes, yes. like the universe has things within it. You said matter. Yeah. So to make transformation, you need some kind of intent of transformation. You need a mover. I get what you're you you trying to mover. Yeah. Right. So even to make tea and coffee, you need a willing agent. Yeah. Yes, I completely agree. So I want to know on what rational basis do you then, looking at this, understanding it logically and rationally yeah. and accepting it, yeah. the universe in its pre-current state, yeah. in its eternal yeah. states yeah. Yeah. of transformation, yeah. 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 it just happened without yes, I know. any, I know. without any will, 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 Willing, willing move. Yeah. Yes. My response, to, my response to you is that I don't think that the, the, the universe necessarily needs a willing move. I don't need necessarily a mover to make it a cup of tea. But you need to, you need to do it though. No. Yes. Sir. I'm using the same argument. Yes, Be yes. consistent. Yes, if you don't argument, need... This is a different... This is it's not two different. different things. Thank you. Why is it different? We want to transform something. You either need a willing mover or you don't. So if you can say a cup of tea can happen without a willing mover, then you're being consistent. No, I know, I know, I know. But you're, this is you have I mean. to be consistent. This is what I mean. You have to. Yes, yes. But that's what I mean. Like, we have a willing mover on Earth. You, on Earth, on Earth, as, as you make that tea, you know, you go to the kettle, you boil the water, mm -hmm. and then you put the tea bag in, and you've made your tea. You've got your tea there. But what I'm saying is that when, when we zoom out, and we, we, when we actually try and think about what began our own universe, I don't think the same laws apply. Because I don't think they, I don't think, I think, uh, like, in, inherently on Earth, certain things occur the way they do. But I think that's because Earth is special. I think Earth is not, I think Earth is unique. In so I can't make a cup of tea on Mars? No. I, I mean, you can, like, within, if you're... But so not, if, if I have you, the same kitchen in Mars, Mars okay, let's... stand on Mars... No, no, I, I, want, I want to eliminate these variables. One of the variables you introduce is the Earth. Let's say if I go to Mars, and I have a kitchen there, yep. and I sit there, would the tea still happen, or a coffee? coffee? You'd probably be dead. Like, if, if you, you have to, you have to use... Look, look. You have to use Earth, you have to use... I Earth don't need Earth, things. I don't need Earth. Yes, but you need I am going to have a spaceship there, what do you need? on Mars, spaceship. landed... Where did the spaceship come from? Where was it built? So? Where, where was it built? Where it came from Earth, didn't it? So what? Yes, but that means you can't just go to Mars. Let's say Mars has got nothing on it. You come with mm -hmm. no space suit, with nothing that's come from Earth, and that's allowed you to live on Mars, no, and come and make spaceship. a... Uh, yeah. You borrowed an alien spaceship. Okay, okay, fine. But, okay, yeah, this is... <laughs> it's you're it's you're complicating the, the thing now. So but it's not from Earth. Yes, yes, yes. But I'm saying that when you go to Mars, let's say you go to Mars with nothing. Yeah. If you stand on Mars, you'd already be dead before you make the cup of coffee. No. Or the cup of tea. So, you see, look. If you're going to be consistent, you should say that to make a cup of tea in this kind of organizational transformation, you need a willing mover. Yes. And you need to be consistent with that. Like gravity, scientists would say, gravity exists in all parts of our Earth, even though we haven't measured everything. Yeah. So science, as you haven't realized already, is exactly. based on generalization, based on, based on generalization. from the specifics, I agree. I right? Agree. And we likewise, we likewise, when we use the scientific method in understanding the reality, I haven't used anything different from the scientific method. No, I know. I'm saying the universe. Yes. Transformation. You need a willing mover. So I have not committed any logical fallacy. No, no, I agree. I'm being consistent. I agree. You need to provide a rational I'm alternative saying, saying. if you believe that it can happen by itself. I'm saying, I'm saying that the, the need, the need to find out, this is, goes back to very much what I'm saying at the beginning, the need to find out, the need, like why, why do you need, what, like, honest question, why do you need to believe that something began something? I don't need and to believe that, in no, anything. No, but why, why, why need, do you believe that? Why do you believe no, that? No. Not, surely not because you want to make a cup of tea in the morning. To, to give no. you, to give answer this question, it's not that I need to believe in something. Yes. If a tree existed there, independent of my believing it exists or not there, it will exist in reality. Yeah. So my belief is irrelevant. Yes. More importantly, he believes it himself. Yeah. Yeah. It's irrelevant what I, I believe it or not. No, I know. So if I think, oh, that tree doesn't exist, I may be wrong, I may be right, but independent of my belief system, it can exist if it existed. Yeah. Likewise, if there is a reality in which there is a willing mover yes, of yes. transformation, it doesn't matter whether I need to believe in it or not. 
But the, but the fact of the matter is, we need to affirm that's the case or not. That, it's I a case that. of affirmation. I get that. I get that. Now, I, is it is it irrational to affirm yeah. that you need a willing mover it's for the transformation? It's not irrational. Right. So my stance now, even though I haven't expressed it, exactly. is a rational position. What's your rational position? My rational position is that you do not need to find that. I, we we, took, no, no, we no, took away listen. the need. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. My, my, my thing is that, like, the universe, it, there's the idea of a willing mover, the idea of something that's pushing, the idea that something begins somewhere, it comes out of humanity. It comes out of humanity's own attempt to understand itself. No. Yes, it does. It, Why do you disagree? See, the problem... The, the, you made some really strange statements when I was listening to this exchange, okay? So you, you seem to do away with logic. You said that there's human logic... Uh, there's two, there's two faucets of logic. Sure. And you can't use human experience or logic to come up with anything. Then you, that puts to bed science, the scientific method, even the conversation you're having, even the, how your vape is working, all of this is, goes out the window with yeah. this. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Now, get that. the only argument you seem to be making at the end, because you admitted that for things to happen, there needs to be a willing movement. No, I didn't. You, you didn't? No, 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 I don't. he said that. I'm saying my very point. For the tea to be made in the kitchen, you don't yes, need a willing Yes, but I'm saying that you cannot equate the tea in the kitchen to the creation of the universe. So why, why not? Tea? Why? Because not? that is inherently grounded in the human experience. It's not grounded within something that we don't even understand. And to be able to understand that, we would need maybe thousands, maybe hundreds of years of more scientific research. Because you're not understanding something. Yes, and I don't want to make conclusions no, no, about no, it. No, I'm not understanding something. You can still rationalize the possibility Yes. of how something could happen. And this is where religion comes from. No, no, hold on a second. So it could either be a material cause or an immaterial one. Yeah. Could there be any other cause? Of the universe? Yes. <laughs> either material or immaterial. Right. I'd say... So, so is there any other? Perspective? No, I'd say, I'd say, I mean, I'd say it was material. Material cause. Yeah. So if there is a material cause, what is the cause of that material cause? Another material cause? It is. It's it's strung up. It's strung up within a web, within a web of like material causes. Uh, yes. Okay. But the cause, but causation, the idea yes. of causation. Yes. It's something very different to what, like the way I perceive the universe to gun. The way I perceive it, it's we are very lucky. You can't use your perception. You said material cause, right? Yes. Yeah. Can there be an infinite series of material causes? Perhaps, yes. Can you Perhaps. can you traverse? I can't. Can you traverse an infinite number of steps to get to this step? No. 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 So they can't be infinite. infinite. The idea of the problem of infinite. Yes, and this is what we came across before. But the idea of it, the idea of the us not being able to understand infinity. Hold on a second. An infinite series. That means you can't count them. No. Count, they're beyond counting. Can you ever traverse? an infinite number of steps to get to this step, no. us talking. No. no. So but therefore... We never know you can do brother, that brother, hold, brother, hold on a second. So therefore, it can't be an infinite number of steps. Yes. It has to be finite. Okay. So when something is finite, it requires a beginning of everything. Yeah. Now, that beginning of everything, exactly. is I it am. material or immaterial? The beginning of everything. It, I'd say it's well inherently it has to be material. Why? It has to because we are Why? we are we are our world is consisting of well of, of gas and of Why does it have to be material? Because we we live here. We live in and, this And world. is that dependent or independent? Independent. Independent. Yeah. I don't think it's dependent so, on anything. So it exists, it exists without very, any explanation. It exists, but we haven't found the explanation. No no yet. but no no. It That's exists without any explanation of its existence. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you've come to that conclusion how? Through, through being, through actually understanding that I can't tell you the beginning of the universe, and I and I I, I thought about this a lot because I can't I, I can't sit here and I, and I thought about it, you know, because it's 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 it's, it's insane, you know, like we we live in a universe filled with intricate planets, stars, galaxies. No, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just saying, I'm you. So, we, we live in this world, it's very much unexplainable to us where it began from. We have this idea of the Big Bang. We have this, it's, it's like, to non-scientists, people that don't specialize in it, it's quite difficult to conceptualize, it's quite difficult to understand. So what my conclusion is, is that we don't need to understand that. We can make our own, we, we, we define our reality in our own way. 
I didn't we ask you. I didn't ask yeah, you. That's I, my, where I, I came back to my I conclusion. I asked you, why does it have to be material? Why does it have to be material? material. It has to be because we are physically made out of about the, the material existence. It means that there are, there is, there's, there's matter. Yeah, but the, what, but the explanation for matter does not necessarily necessitate that the underlying cause of everything itself, the 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 beginning of everything. The, nece the necessary cause of everything itself has to be material. I'm asking you why you're insisting upon that and not saying that it could be material or immaterial. I'm wondering why you're missing out the possibility of immaterial. Yeah. That's why. No, I'm I get you. I get you. Yeah. Because no, I, mean, I believe that's not being up. Yeah. If you said I don't know, yeah. then what you would have to argue. Is that what well, I don't know? It could be immaterial, could be, or it yes, could be material. No, 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 no. But you said it I said, to yeah, be. yeah, yeah. No, I make I made a mistake there. Okay. I made a mistake there so, in my. Okay. But what I do well, say, what I do fine. say, is that we we don't we don't need to know. Now, now, now listen yeah. to what I'm going to say yeah, to you yeah, now. Okay. If it can be immaterial, or it is material, yeah. either one of the two, we have to then assert our logic and our reason to see which one seems more reasonable, yes, right? Yes, yes. Based upon the evidence, right? Yes, yes based upon Now, if it's a material, what qualities must this material thing possess to bring things into existence? Knowledge, will, power. power all of these things, right? Which matter doesn't have apart from its, itself? I understand this. this is, I know, okay. I know, I understand. So now you have to ask the question. No, I'm not trying to corner you. No. All, I'm, all I'm trying to do to you, brother, is this. You just think about these things with a level of neutrality, because you've said you don't know. And all I'm saying I'm to you... I'm saying that there's no need to know. No, but what I'm saying to you also is this. Have an open mind, okay? When something seems reasonable, at least say, you know what, that sounds quite reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've ag now, we agree that, that mat if it's material, it needs consciousness, immense power, knowledge, yeah. To a level that you or I we can't even comprehend. Yes, yes. Yeah, we don't know, and we don't need to. The laws of physics, the yes, DNA. Exactly. Why do you keep saying something? we don't need no. to? We don't need to because what, that, why? 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 Is because, the because my whole idea about like religion, like I, that's I first. Yours, that's yes, but before yes, we okay. get to that, Desmond. Before, before we get to that. I, I mean, before we get to that. Now you have so a material cause with idea. consciousness, power, a yes. will, a will. Yes, but where create. does that come from? No, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now. That to me does not look like a uh, a non, let's say, um, conscious, intelligent um, cause of everything. Yeah. It sounds a lot like what religious folk would say to you is the creator. I know, I know. So what I'm asking this you, is... brother, is this. Yeah. Why don't you at least acknowledge that that's a reasonable possibility? Okay. Good. And in fact, it seems more reasonable it seems more reasonable it's okay, it's okay. than just a material I cause completely. that existed yeah, infinitely I, without anything bringing that existence into existence, no, I, I, right? I, yeah, yeah. And the supernatural cause yes. seems more reasonable. Exactly. I understand so this. You accept this that? Yes. No. I understand. I completely. You know. Sorry. I, I, I personally. I yeah. personally like. I. I. I grew up in, in a Muslim country, right. and I was very exposed to. You what know, country was that? In Dubai. Oh, Dubai. Yes, yes. So I spent uh, half my life in Dubai, right, nice. and I, I, you know, I, all my all my good friends are Muslims, nice. and I, I love Islam as a, as a religion, and I, I, I really. Why don't you accept it then? I, I, I love it. I love if it. You my, love my, my father, my father's it. an Islamic specialist, and your father's an Islamic specialist. Yeah, yeah Islamic Islamic banking. Okay. So, but, Interesting. but uh, this is uh, this is why, and I, I thought about this idea for a very long time, but the idea like. It provides comfort. And the idea of a creator is comforting. It's comfort. But brother, but it is, but brother let me just... And in the sense, okay. in the sense what, what, exactly of what you were saying. Can something the, true, can something that is the reality and is true give you comfort? But we, yeah, it, of course it yes. can. Of course so, it can. So, but that doesn't mean... No, but hold on a second. Yeah. But, uh, add, but having comfort from something, yes. and I accept, Islam gives me a lot of comfort. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But that does not falsify Islam. No, I know. Because it Islam could be true, exactly. and I could be attaining comfort from something that is from, true. From the truth, yeah. So it doesn't rationally mean that just because some people get comfort from religion, therefore God is false or religion is false. Yes, yes. no, yes. no. But my, my grounding yes. of it, my grounding of religion, is more historical. This is why I'm I'm not uh, you know I'm not uh, as you know as edu as educated as you are, gentlemen, on on these ideas of you know continuously. I I've read up about it, but I'm more of I I denounce religion on bounds of, of, of history. 
on history. On, on purely on history. Okay. Yeah. And where religion? Well, this is where I can. This is where. So my, it's not. It's not. My, it's not. It's, it's, it's not, it's not it's your critical, rational thinking about the philosophical yes, basis more, of it, God's it, existence. It, it, exactly. It's to do with your history. Your, my, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So basically, oh, then, not just Islam, in but fact, all religions. Fine. Fine. Yeah. In fact, you're much, much closer in accepting the truth than many other people. I'll tell you why. Because you have no philosophical objection, rational objection, reasonable intellectual objection that it could be that the, there is a yeah, creator this is not, with all the qualities. This is where my, my, yeah, yeah. My, because okay, you know the possibilities. Yeah. But my like my understanding of of course I've you know I've I've watched a few of these videos and I and I come and I've come across these ideas and come across like these ideas of where where where. Uh, where does religion come from? It comes from, you know, our ideas about 